Penguins hosting the Panthers. The Panthers are minus 126 on the money line. The Penguins are plus 105. The over-under, six and a half goals. The Panthers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 188, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Penguins getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 230, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one goal, you win. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. It's supposed to be Bobrovsky, who has been confirmed, and Jari and Net. Now, head-to-head, the Panthers are on a three-game winning streak against the Penguins. They are 6-4 and four against them in their last 10. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite has won the last four games. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. and two. There have been six one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game they played against each other. The under is hitting their last three. The under is 6-3-1, and one, and the under 6.5 goals is 7-3. and three. They played each other twice this season. The Panthers won both games, 3-1 in Florida and 3-2 in a shootout in Pittsburgh. The Penguins, we'll go with the road team first. The Panthers are 3-1 in their last four. Five goals, three goals, six goals, four goals. Three goals in an overtime win, one goal in a loss, four goals in a win, and then four goals in a win again. For the Penguins, they're on a two-game losing streak. They are 2-2 two two in their last four. Five goals, three goals, five goals, three goals. Three goals in an overtime win, three goals in a win, two goals in a loss, and then one goal. And a loss. I will take the Panthers with the money line. I will take the Panthers laying the goals, and I'm going to go under in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.